You know, our churches can be a house of blessing, but they can also be a house of enslavement or empowerment to the forces that are keeping us down. And let's look at this. You see, in Africa, I hate to say to talk about religion. Be careful. Religion is a business in which they sell God. And this business works very well for whoever sets up the shop. It is shocking that our Bible has been translated to every local language, but our constitution has not been translated. We need to translate the constitution to every local language because even the colonialists, even the colonialists that colonized this country, they came lying to us in the name of religion. They have misused the name of our God, this King Saul and his prophets of Baal. They have used, they misused the names of our God by telling us that we are God sent. We cannot be questioned because we have been chosen by God. The gospel that we hear promises us that things will be better in the by and by and some they call prosperity say right now. But what they are not preaching and teaching is what's actually going on. You need to hear what's going on once they empower you through their gospel that they should be preaching and not going along with the government and being in support of the government. We're talking about understanding your profound nature so you can be and live as who you are. There is God in heaven, but that God is the same one that gave us resources. He's the same God that gave us minerals. We have gold, we have oil, we have chromium, we have uranium that is not to the benefit of the people of Kenya. It is being mined, taken abroad as soil. In fact, wasn't it Jesus that went against the government and he called on them about their corruption? He didn't go along to get along. He stirred some feathers. So the preachers in the pulpit that are speaking heaven need to really bring it down that you are actually living in a created hell here on earth because you're poor and your leaders are getting richer and richer and you're getting poorer and poorer. And they're controlling your churches. Talk to your pastor. Tell him you want to hear the gospel as is spoken that people will arise and the power of God will manifest in them to get rid of all wickedness because poverty is wickedness. Sickness is wickedness. Corruption is wickedness. And I haven't heard one minister, whether it was in Kenya, East Africa, or in West Africa, Nigeria, get up and proclaim to get that devil out of the government. They say they can command it in the name of Jesus, but they ought to be calling on it and calling out names and making that devil flee. Tell them. Spirituality, nobody can teach it to you. You need to get the fundamentals of any any books, any spiritual system, you can get the fundamentals and then look at inside of you and then determine how you are going to use the fundamental principles to improve your life. Hey, this is Jamila and you're watching Africa Speak.